Yeah. Hi everybody, Freepies Afterlife, Paul and Josh. Hello. Um, we've come down a lane called Buncton Lane. Um, we drove about halfway down it and we were engulfed by mist. So we believe this is where the torso was found 30 years ago. The unsolved murder of a man that is currently buried in part one of the video we've done to this. Um, ground. Ground. Are your other body parts around here? Either say north, south, east, or west. In mist. Yeah, we're engulfed in mist, guys. You might not be able to see it on the camera. <coughs> what was that? That was a moth. I nearly flew in my mouth. <laughs> so, right, guys, we're really jittery down here. <laughs> we're trying to stay calm. Wait, I'm calm. Oh, I'm chilled. I see you. That's Where? good. Can That's you good. can you come forward so we can see you? Where are you? Are you in front, behind, or to the left, or to the right? Surgeon. Surgeon. Harriet. Were you wound and Harriet? Were you a surgeon that was the one that cut up the torso? So, well the body parts of the person chose or was it a surgeon that done it mm. can you hear movement everywhere mm. like little crackles we don't know how many people have been out here missing dead guys you have to be here literally bowels um, and that was a screech from distance but you know we don't know about um the only lights is what we've got on, and that's it. The light yeah. in front of the camera, so you can see that way. I'm glad the CCTV over there, though. I'm so glad. Is it pointing at us? No. Oh. It's just behind <laughs> Homeless. It. Homeless. We had that in the last video. And we've had that for a time. lot. A lot? A lot of souls? Is that what you were referring to when I was saying murders, missing, battles, um, people that lived here? And moved on from here. Strange energy. I haven't felt this energy in a long time. It's strong, time. isn't it? It's really strong. Mm. Are you the un unidentified soul? The unidentified man that was murdered and dumped and cut up? And only parts of your body is buried in a cemetery, in an unmarked grave. Does your soul reside here? If you look down there, I think Yeah, that's really misty, isn't it? Mm. What about this way? Anomaly. Anomaly? Spirit. What about this way, Josh? There's misty up there as well. Hammer. Hammer. So he might he might have been knocked out with a hammer or beaten. Mm. Were you beaten with a hammer? Yes and no. Soul, we can help you. We need your name. Tell the world what happened. Let the world know what happened. Who killed you? Name him or her. Basement hair. Basement hair. Camp. Camp. Was there an old battle camp out here on this field? Might have been. Become misty for the mist. Oh no. 
if there was an old battle camp here to any of the soldiers who died or served, I hope you uh, found peace and go to the board. You know, being honest, I think this road must get one car a week. <laughs> Do you reckon? Probably. <laughs> I can actually pick up that there's there's been loads of happenings down here. Mm. Loads. There's different energy as well, different types. How many souls reside here? Did you... I need to go. If you need to go, you can find the light. But also, how many... Speak. Yes, speak. How Tell us. How many souls are here? Give us a number. Please. There is a rumour in the reports that you may have been German. Scared. Don't be scared. There's something white up there. It was like it wished that way. Might be a wished. Old. And it said scared. Yeah, so maybe they're scared. It's okay. Don't be scared. Come forward. We're not going to harm you. They probably don't. They probably rarely get people out here that talk to spirits. And... Yeah. My name is Paul, mm. and this is Josh. Hello. We mean you no harm, and you mean us no harm. We're only here to contact. I go around attempting to help souls to tell their story, to help them to cross over. If you need help, that's just a step over there. That's that same one coming back, I think. Mm. Come back, come and talk to us. Don't be scared. Battle here. Battle. Told, told you. Yeah. Was it on the field? That I'm saying. Are we talking Vikings? Or are we talking Normans? Can you reenact the battle? Can you do the sounds? The weapons? can hear movement. It's like they're moving towards us. Can you hear it? It's from this one. Infant. Is there children here? Hey, can you hear it? Infant. Well, there shouldn't be any children because all children go to heaven, so... Experiment. What was the experiment? Hmm. It's over there, isn't it? Sounds like weed. Yeah. It's probably a river in that one. Wouldn't surprise me. A what? A river or something. Like a lake. No, it's actually walking. I can hear it like walking through as if it's walking through bushes or grass. Or... Mm. Don't be scared of us. Heaven. Morning. More heaven and morning. We might seem a bit nervous. It's because we're in the middle of nowhere, basically. Mm. We don't know the area. We need to know what happened around here. We were no, not here. No, not here. Not here. Are you are going to tell us in a vision or dream. Huh? The joys. <laughs> Can 
probably if you can't hear that. I can hear it. It's all over there. Sounds like you've got walking or it's water. Yeah. But I'm going to go off water as we're in the middle of nowhere. There's usually with rivers and lakes in the middle of nowhere. So. You said there was a battle here. Are you talking the First or Second World War? Or are we going back older? Suffer. Suffer. You don't have to suffer anymore. You're probably suffering because taking a life is wrong. Yes. It's a sin. Order to kill somebody is wrong. Yes. Doesn't matter what century you come from. It's really weird. I've got like a smell of like aroma of like flowers, herbs. Yeah, I just got that, yeah. Arthur. Ooh, Arthur. As in King Arthur? Is that what you mean, the King Arthur period? So, we're talking medieval. If it is medieval, could you repeat it back to me, please? Medieval. What period in time are you from? Eric. Eric. And it spelt the old name with a K. Eric. Yeah. Hello, Eric. Eric the Viking. Or were you, Eric, one of the knights? In the yeah. temple order. Yeah. And you were sanctioned here to keep watch over the grounds of any invaders. Significant. Significant? Where you were significant, where you hired. Jim. Strangled. Ooh. Jim hmm. and strang strangled. Well, significant if. Were you high in the, let's say, the Knight Order or the Temple Order? Just want to know your rank, just to give her respect, that's all. What was a homeless man's name? And was he murdered? 47. Closet. 47 could be an answer to what we asked a lot earlier how yeah. many souls are here yeah <laughs> so uh, 47 that's quite a lot well thank you for answering how many souls are here gives us an idea of how many people kiss kiss <laughs> not not souls can you make a definite noise somewhere. Liar. Liar? Who's a liar? Was this a man that was killed? Was he a liar? Was he involved in some sort of drug ring? Explore. That's what we're doing, exploring. Yeah. We're in a country lane that nobody explores. <laughs> Lawrence. Lawrence. Hmm. Is that the homeless man's name? What we need is a full name, really. Hmm. Then we can verify who went missing 30 years ago. Help us souls, and then we can help you. C. S E A C. C. Well, C is nearby. Yeah. Was he a seaman? Sailor. Silent. Silent. 
It is quite silent. It's very silent. Are we disturbing you here? Or do you actually need help? Surprise. Surprise? I don't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this darkness, please. <laughs> I don't think my heart could take it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm trying. You're trying, okay. Show yourself in front of the camera, that side. In an orb or a figure, anything. Anything that you can manifest. A flash of light. Would you like us to use something that you can talk through? It's called necrophonic. You may have heard of it. I always attempt to talk to souls through it. And they tend to answer. Bedroom. A pact. A pact. Pact. Hmm. That's like a, an agreement thing, isn't it? Yeah. A pact. Are we making a pact, are we? You help me and I help you. Is that what you mean? Because whether you help me or not, I'm going to be helping you. So, it's entirely up to you. It would be nice. You know, I, I hear movement over there, and then movement here, and then there's a movement over here. So, are they circling us, do you think? I'm trying. Bloody notifications. Music. Yes, music, yeah. <laughs> That's what just came through, isn't it, the phone? Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't play music because what I upload this video to would block the video. They have such a thing called copyright now. You cannot copy other people's artistry or music or... Amazing. Yes. How old are you? I am 51. 24. Josh is 24. Whoa! Stuck here. <laughs> it says stuck here. Stuck here, okay. Something bloody moth just hit the side of my head. <laughs> Why are they aiming at me? Oh, yeah. Oh. As if they are moths, might be something else. <laughs> they are moths. Right, so. Souls, we're going to load up another app now that you'll be able to speak through. It's called Necrophonic. You'll be able to say your I'm piece. agitated. Yes, I'm not surprised. How long have you been stuck here? Probably too long. Why have you not crossed over? This is my question. Why? Because probably no one visits down here. So apart from the people that live here. Is every human soul on the earth actually trapped until they're crossed over? Are these priests not doing their job? Or am I right? that your soul is where you died and not in the church I'm asking too many questions aren't I? Mm. I'm going to keep asking souls until I get the answers
I don't know whether you're forbidden to give them. Innocent. Innocent. Mm. Okay. Do you have to be innocent to make your way to heaven? Or do you have to just... Asylum. Do you have to just believe? Was you a disbeliever? Is that why you're stuck here? Did you hear that? Over there. Well, the energy in the air is more calm than that. Yeah. Okay, guys. Right, let's turn this one off. Put Ghost Tube on this one. And use my phone for necrophonic because it's nice and loud. It'll wake up everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. We'll leave that there. Huh? Did you just hear a whistle? No. You didn't press start. No, no. I'm just about to make a speech. Right, souls, you must come like. forward. Like. Light. Oh, okay. That's what they want, isn't it? Light. Mm. You must come forward and speak through this device on my on my vehicle. It won't hurt you. It makes phonetic sounds that you can turn into words or even sentences. Speak slowly and clearly so I can understand you. As I said, my name is Paul, and this is Josh. Hello. Come forward and talk to us. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Children, John. Yeah. yeah, but don't believe that. Because you know, NSP's like trying to manipulate us children. So just be careful. Watching you. Find me. Help. Find you. Well, we're not going on a hunt. <laughs> Now is your opportunity oh. to come forward and speak. If you have a crime that needs solving, solve it. Not here to disrespect you or harm you. We're not here to disrespect or harm us. Just want answers and hope. You can rest after we've been here. Listen. Okay, I'll listen. Yeah. Nah. Well, whoever whispered in between the human souls. I'm just going to say now, I will keep you. You are rebuked. My God. Right. So a couple of them are fine with right? Yeah. Souls. Can you help us out with a murder? I don't think they want to help us with that. See, so said stop. You want us to stop because... Find me. Okay, find me again. Is there evil here mixed with the good? I can feel that, I'll tell you. Hey, for saying yeah, can you hear that? And then it said thanks for that. Oh. Yeah. Do we 
she shouldn't focus on the negative. Talking from over here. Oh, my horse. Yeah. Oh, no. Look how misty it's got. I know, I know. Right, so I'm, I'm hoping you've answered our questions. Yep, and to all the souls that are human here, I hope you find peace. And to all the ones that are evil, you are rebuked from this land and you find somewhere else to go and cause what you want to do. There's a light. Yeah, the bird's a house. Is it? Probably up there. But you will return to where you were once came from. Souls, gather around me and pray with me. You must trust and believe. You must trust in me. You must trust in God. You must trust it in the heavens. Pray with me. I call upon our Lord God today and I ask that he help any, uh, any and all souls that may be lost or stuck or being held against their will. Please help these souls to find peace, to find light, to be in unity in heaven. Help them to find their friends, their families, their loved ones. Also, Lord, I ask you to rebuke anything that is evil from this land, never to return. May it not follow us. Nothing is allowed to follow us or affect us in any way. You stay here. Amen. Amen. I'm getting covered in moths. <laughs> yes, go to that light, souls. Go to the light. When they come to you, trust in them, leave with them. Light. Light. Hidden. Yes. Hidden. Find me. No. Okay, we're going to say goodbye now and God bless you. Goodbye and God bless. Well, they certainly got a lot to say, haven't they? Yeah, I think the weird part that creeped me out was when you were saying, uh, doing the prayer and then all of a sudden that came through the start, I was like, stop. And I was like, all right, chill. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, light's gone off. You sure? There's no house up there. Yeah, yeah. It was further up. There. Yeah, it's further up, but it's inside. So right, don't panic. Because we drove yeah. quite away, didn't we? Was, yeah. There was nothing here. But it's the, it's the entities here that are trying to manipulate you and check your mind. So, it's what they so, want. Anyway, guys, before this cuts off, we're going to cut off. Yep. And we're going to go home because it's getting very late. Yep. And, uh Look forward to the next video, yep. which will be very soon, guys, because I'm going to drag Josh out again. Yep. And I'm seeing Teresa on Friday. And uh, I think in I'm in London on Saturday, so I'll probably do a video up there. Uh, not sure what's happening Sunday yet. <laughs> yeah. But you're off for eight days, aren't you? So, yep. yeah. So you'll be available, won't you, if I want to drag you out somewhere? Well, at some point, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and you don't mind late ones, do you? No, I don't mind. Okay. So anyway, guys, Josh says good night. Good night. And I say good night to you all, guys. God bless you all, good and boys. be good to each other.